talk to you today about sugar freedom and the last five pounds. So, I went to a birthday party this weekend, a wonderful birthday party for young Cheyenne. And as at any kid's birthday party, there was an absolutely fabulous birthday cake. Actually, there was a cake, chocolate cake, beautiful frosting with a pony on it and her name, and then a whole set of cupcakes also with delicious frosting. It looked absolutely wonderful. Now, the party started at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, things went really, really well at this party, and that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I had a good lunch. Uh, I had a salad, healthy protein, plenty of vegetables, a nice olive oil salad dressing, really delicious. So I arrived at the party feeling satisfied and good and immediately started drinking water. It was outdoors, and it was pretty warm. And what was really wonderful is I took a look around and everything was on offer, things that were being set out. First thing I saw was, yeah, I saw bags of chips, and I saw snacks, and uh, M&Ms, and things like that. But the nice thing about it is the party was hosted by my friend Melanie, so there were a lot of other things there too. There was fresh fruit, there was a beautiful salad, there was uh, cut up vegetables and onions and pico de gallo, gazpacho, and there was also a wonderful tri-tip from their ranch. And there were hot dogs too, so there were things for everybody. So I kind of looked around, everybody got their plates first, and I got my plate, and I had to decide whether, well, was I gonna eat an early dinner, or was I not gonna eat the party, or what was I gonna do? So I had some of the tri-tip, and a big salad, and uh, some of the wonderful uh, gazpacho, and pico de gallo, and it was really, really satisfying. I sat down, and I ate, and I was having a really good time. So I didn't eat any of the cake, but you know what really shocked me is the, the lovely gal, Serena, who had made the cake, was there at the party. And so after I was done, they were wrapping up the cake, they were putting the leftovers away, and I don't know how we got on the subject, but I ended up saying that I hadn't had any, and she said, well, I didn't have any either. I was floored. She had made this beautiful cake. She used to make wedding cakes professionally. This is one of the things that she did, and she said, I just don't eat it anymore. The sugar hurts. And it turns out that she can stop eating sugar because of what it does to her joints. And I have noticed the same thing about a day or a day and a half after I kind of lose it and have a sugar blowout, I start to feel pain in the back of my knees. And I never feel that pain. Maybe it's a little bit psychosomatic, but generally I don't think I ever feel that pain except when I'm eating sugar white flour, pizza, the refined carbs that turn into uh, sugar in the body. So that's one of the things that I discovered this weekend. Eat really well, and for heaven's sake, even the person who makes the cake sometimes doesn't have to eat the cake. I guess that's the theme of this little YouTube video. It's when you're going after the last five pounds, when you want sanity, when you want to feel really great, when you want to feel great about your figure, you don't have to eat the cake. That's what I, the message I want to send to you today. Thanks, everybody.